Before we start looking at building pages for your departments, um, which is up in the next session, I just want to go through um, the landing page of your new intranet as well as the web parts that are available. So when a communication site is built, you'll see that it, uh, depending on which template you've chosen, but uh, I chose the topic design, which has got the Euro web part. So at the top there, you'll see the Euro web part. There's five blocks. It's got the news web parts as well. So any new news articles can be published from there. It's got an events web part, which is also one of the apps on the site. Then it's showing the highlighted content um, web part, which surfaces any documents that's been added. And then at the bottom of the page, it's got a space to um, leave comments. When you put your page into edit mode, you'll see that you now have little pins everywhere in the corners of web parts um, that allows you to edit these web parts. So um, if I had to make changes to the site, then uh, I could go and edit the web parts. And then of course as well, I can add web parts. So uh, look there on the left, this is where I can edit the full web parts. So for example, if I went there, I can choose whether it must be five blocks or one or two or three. I can change it to layers as well, which is the showcase uh, template design. And then if I scroll down, I can make changes to these web parts to say how they should display. Let's take a look at uh, what type of web parts we can add. When I expand this, you'll see, and I'm going to just change this to A to Z so we can see all the web parts. You can add a Bing map to a page, a divider, which is just a line, the document library preview, which is what we're going to use to surface um, our documents, embedded code from websites, events, file viewer to display a specific document, group calendar, which comes from any of the groups you might belong to, the Euro web part, which you've seen, highlighted content. I can add an image on the page as well. I can add an image gallery as well, which then pulls through from a specific library's documents. Um, at the moment, there's a Kindle Instant Preview. Haven't used that yet. And um, there's links, which surfaces a specific web page. And the list preview, Microsoft Forms, which we're going to use for our feedback, uh, Microsoft Power Apps um, as well, the news web part, Office 365 video, people, which we're definitely going to use a lot, which uh, we can bring in for content owners, etc. Power BI for reports, quick charts. There's quick links as well, which I use uh, very often for any buttons I want to add on the page or links I want to take people to. Site activity, sites, uh, spacer, which just brings in a space on your page. Stream, which we're definitely going to use. A text web part, a Twitter feed, going to use that as well. Uh, weather, which I haven't uh, checked out yet. I can't wait to see uh, what that looks like. And then, of course, the Yammer web part. So that's all the web parts that we can add on our page. And uh, in the next video clip, you'll see we're going to build our um, template page for our departments. We're going to edit the home page last. So if you're getting curious as to when we're going to do that, that's going to happen last. But up next, in the next video, we are going to be building the template page that we'll use for our departments. Chat soon.